the beauty of night sky and the celestial events that takes place at that time are both stunning and compelling since the beginning of human civilization we have looked to the sky to navigate vast oceans to decide when to plant our crops and to answer questions of where we came from and how we got here this curiosity of ours has introduced astronomy to mankind this is a actually a branch of physics where it allows us to verify various branches of physics experimentals you know which we cannot do it in terrestrial environment but also of course you know uh, the night sky always you know attracts us and this uh, curiosity about you know how we are born uh, how the universe was born so that's a natural uh, questions we all had being a leading research institute of the country aries specializes in observational astronomy astrophysics and atmospheric sciences The legacy of the institute goes back to more than 6 decades. First, as a straight observatory established in Varanasi in 1954 in Uttar Pradesh at the initiative of Dr. Sampurnanand, Education Minister and later the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh at that time and Professor A.N. Singh, a professor of mathematics at Lucknow University. In 1955 it was shifted to Nainital to get clear sky in the hills. It was the dream of then director of the observatory Professor Venu Bappu a highly respected astronomer in optical astronomy to establish a 4 meter class optical telescope in India The state observatory started with modest facilities until a 1 meter optical telescope was established in 1972 at Manura Peak It then started flourishing Aries come under the aegis and funding of the Department of Science and Technology Government of India in 2004 The key instrument of nearly all modern observational astronomy is the telescope These telescopes serves the dual purpose of gathering light and magnifying the image so that small and very faint objects of galaxy can be easily observed The light actually comes from far far away and so the light becomes very faint when you compare it with any terrestrial light which you see around like your lamps or headlight this light is actually having only few photons per second and that's why it's called the faint object spectrograph in camera now the light which is coming from these celestial objects from very you know large distances they need to be analyzed for each and every color Most of these observational astronomy is performed through telescopes of different apertures from the ground based observatories located at high altitude so as to minimize the absorption and distortion caused by earth's atmosphere and maintain the accuracy of those observations Aries enjoy being based at one such favorable location The atmospheric science division at Aries carries out research on air pollution and climate change Here the focus of research is mainly in the lower part of the atmosphere. This division specializes in observation of trace gases including ozone and greenhouse gases, aerosols and meteorology etc. This ST radar which we are standing here right now. So this is the major facility for atmospheric science and this facility is capable of measuring the 3D wind field up to the lower troposphere stratosphere. so that's why name come stratosphere tropospheric radar now this facility is also unique in the sense because this is located at the top of the building and operating at the frequency of 206.5 megahertz and this is not tried worldwide anywhere the scientist of aries has designed sophisticated instruments like the charge coupled device or the ccd imager and the faint object spectrographic camera or fosc which brings us the sharp images this is the first fosc designed and assembled in india at aries 4k 4k ccd imager is uh, an imaging device which uh, uh, will be mounted at the 3.6 meter focal plane and it's a in-house developed instrument uh, which will do broadband imaging There are two types of observing facilities at Aries solar and stellar observations. 
For solar observations, Aries operates the 15cm optical telescope at Manora Peak. For stellar observation in the optical and near-infrared or NIR bands, Aries operates a 1.0m Sampunanan telescope at Manora Peak. In 2010, the scientists at Aries decided to move to a distance of 60 kilometers further away from the Manora Peak to a place called Devasthal. Here, Aries installed and operationalized its first 1.3-meter modern optical telescope. Hence, in the middle of 2015, India's largest and most advanced 3.6-meter Devasthal optical telescope or the DOT telescope was successfully installed after decade-long efforts at Devasthal. Commissioned as an international collaboration between Department of Science and Technology, India and Belgium Science Department, BELSPO. When telescope is moving uh, to, uh, from one object to another, it can, it can align primary and secondary mirror online and it can uh, produce uh, sharp images. In addition, a 4-meter aperture international liquid mirror telescope in scientific collaboration with Belgium and Canada is expected to become operational soon at Devastha. Since its inception, Aries have been constantly contributing in the area of astronomical research, particularly those involving time-critical phenomena. For example, the first successful attempt in the country to observe optical afterglow of gamma ray burst was carried out at Aries. On the academic front, Aries offers PhD and postdoctoral fellowships programs to students as part of its mandate to develop skilled human resources. Various workshops and events are being organized by the institute as a part of public outreach program from time to time. The observatory is open to public for the night sky viewing. Visitors attend the slideshows and view the picture gallery describing the celestial bodies. Aries being a public funded research institution, we see this activity as a very major activity and as one of the social scientific responsibilities of the institute. In the future, Aries aims to establish a strong synergy between all its facilities and other national and international ground-based facilities and space programs to probe and understand the celestial phenomena in astrophysical terms. Aries is continuously maintaining and upgrading its existing facilities and collaborating with international institutions to carry out observations in the frontier areas of astronomy. The Department of Science and Technology is completing 50 glorious years in the service of the nation through science and technology. This journey of relevance and excellence has not been a solitary one. All our autonomous organizations have played a critical role in driving forth with quality and focus and speed in their respective areas. They have excelled in their pursuits. I wish all the autonomous organizations and their scientists a very successful future. The future is coming at us at faster and faster speeds. I'm sure you'll be fully prepared to meet the challenges and create new opportunities and work for an Atmanirbhar Bharat that can be proud of its SNT depth and spread. Aribhat Research Institute of Observational Sciences has established itself as a premier research organization in the field of astronomical sciences which is on a quest to solve mysteries of the outer space.